Hey guys, Mike from CoachMikeMcDonald.com here. And do you struggle with knowing what to do while building your business online? Do you have any direction or are you lost for what to do? Well, today's video, I'm gonna cover six pillars of building a successful online business and how you can take your business to the next level. So a lot of times what happens is people start in their home business and they've never had a business before, they've never built a business online and they're kind of overwhelmed and they don't know what to do or where to even begin. And I know I was like that when I first started my home business as well. And what I'm gonna do today is again, break down six different aspects of building a successful business online and again how you can scale and grow your business successfully so the first key foundation the first pillar that you really want to focus on for building a successful business is going to be personal development and leadership development now a lot of people maybe scoff at this right they think they don't need mindset they don't need to work on themselves that they're good enough to succeed right now and i get it I can relate to that, but at the same time, you need to work on yourself because your business is only gonna grow to the point that you do. So that should be one main focus on a daily basis is improving your skill set, working on yourself, getting better, developing your leadership, because again, your business is only gonna grow to the point that you do. Step two is gonna be personally branding yourself and then expanding your target market. So. What does that mean? Well, the first thing you wanna do is figure out who is your target market, where one common mistake that a lot of people have when they start a home business is they think that you know their business is the best in the world, it's got great products, it's a great compensation plan, everybody's gonna love it, everybody's gonna to wanna to join their business, and while I'm sure all those things are true that a lot of people will like your business, you have a great compensation plan, you have quality products, all those things I'm sure are true, but what in reality, when you market to everyone, you're really marketing to no one. So you wanna know who is your specific target market, talk to them, talk to that specific person, because again, if you're talking to your target market, you're focused on helping that target market, you're gonna get a lot better results. So determine who that is, right? So again, maybe you're in real estate and you're targeting first time home buyers or people getting their first home. Uh, again, if you're in health and wellness and nutrition, maybe it's people that like to work out or that wanna lose weight or reach a specific health goal. If you're building a network marketing business or a home business, maybe that's people that are entrepreneurs, people that are into personal development, leadership, they have a success mindset, they have sales skills, different things like that. So determine who is your target market and make it a priority to connect with and grow that audience every single day in that target market. And again, you also wanna focus on branding you and building your brand. So who are you? Who is your target market? You know, What's your tagline? How do you help people? Like for me, I'm a home business coach, so I help people that are teachable and professional scale their businesses and grow their businesses and create a profitable business around their schedule. So again, you have these different taglines, this different mindset of who your target market is, and then working on branding yourself, not just your personal company, right? And then the third pillar is gonna be having some sort of effective monetization strategy. So again, having people join your business, buy your products, get info products from you, hire you as a coach. So there's all these different avenues that you can generate income online and it's determining what that strategy is for you. So you have almost like a, a tiered level of that monetization strategy. So you might be giving away something for free and that in turn leads to someone buying a small product and then from there they sign up for a bigger one of your courses or maybe they join your team and start working with you directly and then from there maybe they pay for more high level coaching or one-on-one -on -one coaching whatever the case is you want to develop some sort of effective monetization strategy for your business because again a lot of people don't have that right so they're just having a hobby right it's costing them money you want to treat your business like a business not a hobby because if you treat it like a hobby it's going to cost you money like a hobby but if you treat it like a business 
it's going to pay you like a business. So step four, though, is going to be content marketing. And again, this is going to be creating content that is benefiting your target market. So in an example of a real estate agent and you're targeting first time home buyers. So maybe you create a PDF guide that is, you know, 10 things that you need to know before you buy your first home. Or if you're in weight loss and nutrition, maybe it's five foods that can boost your metabolism or 10 easy exercises to get your six pack back, right? So maybe you're in travel. So 10 ultimate destinations you can get to on a budget, right? So whatever your target market is, whoever you're talking to, you wanna be creating value that benefits them, that can help them get the desired results that they want. Because again, when you create value-based content, you're gonna start attracting people to you, the exact target market that you wanna attract, right? The people you wanna be your ideal business partners, your ideal customers, when they see your content and you're helping them, they're gonna start reaching out to you, you're gonna generate leads through that, and it's gonna be an effective way to build your business through that content marketing strategy. From there, you wanna focus on follow-up and engagement. So step five is follow-up and engagement. And from there, again, you wanna talk more about how can you follow up with your prospects? How can you reach back out to them? You know, there's a fine line between follow up and being a creeper or a stalker, right? You know, you ever have those people that try and pitch you their business and now they message you every single day, they're calling you every day, they're sending you a message on Facebook every day. What's up, what's going on? You're pushing people away when you do that, right? So that's not the kind of follow up that you wanna do. You wanna follow up like a professional. And again, focus on people that are open to what you have, where a lot of people try and push and convince and try and you know get the same people that aren't interested to begin with, right? They're, they're gonna try and convince their brother-in-law who wasn't interested for the 20th time to join their business or buy their products, right? That's not what you wanna do. You wanna follow up with people that are actually open to what you have, and then you can do it appropriately. So that could be setting up a email autoresponder, for example, and then you're sending out value-based content with that number four strategy of content creation. And then again, when people go through that roller coaster, the ups and downs in their business, that's fine, or the ups and downs in their life, that's fine. But what happens is when timing's right, who do you think they're gonna reach out to? You, the person that's been providing value consistently, or some random person? It's probably you, right? So again, that's really one you wanna focus on having an effective follow-up strategy and engagement strategy with your content because it's gonna build that trust, that relationship, that rapport, and that's how you turn those cold market prospects and people that don't know you into people that know, like, and trust you that wanna do business with you. And then the final pillar is traffic. Number six, traffic. And what that is is generating eyeballs on your content, right? So unfortunately, what a lot of people make the mistake of is they flip this around, right? They wanna get traffic first, they're all about getting leads, getting traffic, people seeing their stuff, but instead of sending that traffic to value-based content that's benefiting their target market and talking to the right people, they're just spamming their links and spamming their business, buy my stuff, buy my stuff, buy my stuff, and again, that doesn't work. That turns people away, that pushes people away from your business rather than attracting them to you. So again, traffic should really be the last step that you wanna do because once you have all the other pillars in place, then you can increase traffic and even scale your business through advertising and you're gonna get really good results. But if you try and put the traffic in first and advertise the things that don't work, that don't convert, you're just gonna push people away from you rather than attracting them to you. So again, hopefully you guys got some benefit and value out of this video. If you did, feel free to comment and share. And if you are in the home business industry or network marketing, be sure to head on over to coachmikemcdonald.com and enter your name and email to get access to my free inviting mastery training where I walk through the ins and outs of how you can prospect and recruit and take your business to the next level. So it doesn't matter if you're brand new, you're introverted, you're shy, or maybe you've never even made a sale. I walk through in a proven system step by step of how you can effectively prospect and recruit and grow your business. But again, thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you more soon.